about Leviticus Cornwall getting murdered in Ansburg? This whole country's going to the dogs. Wall. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to work in that mine no more, okay? Would you rather go back to thieving? You too? Mm -hmm. All right. That's I'm providing for argument. my family. Well, you can't Enough. provide for... Now, I'm not putting on a show for the whole town. Is there a man in this town who ain't a moron? <laughs> He's just scared. Good job's hard to find. A good job? Taking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Scared or not, he's gonna ruin us both. That idiot. I love him and I hate him. Every day, covered in soot, coughing half the night. <laughs> Does he really think Jameson or any of the others give a damn whether he lives or dies? <laughs> Well, good luck to you, ma'am. Boy. I said, hell, even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? This is down. <sighs> go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But... I mean... Well, I... I this country... is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it is man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Oh, where you think? Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go... Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. 
Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Anybody want to get lucky tonight? Go home here with Archie. Why don't you shut up? Oh, Lord. Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Uh, can't even fight your own battles down. Uh, uh, get off of me! Uh, do something, huh? Go to hell. Uh, you just made it a lot. Boy, go. Let him go. Come with me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy. Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama, and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again.
Ja. about peace apparently not did you have fun with my son the impetuous prince i believe you went on a raid with him um, uh, i'm sorry i suppose i lack the grandeur of a conventional king i don't know too many kings <laughs> colonel favors he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. Ah. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, 
Would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I am going to look for some herbs to give you. Yeah. on that horse brutality and beauty are both all around us yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances this is what I try to teach my son yeah go on get out of here good there was no need to harm them if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well... You know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation, and this ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's... Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. looking for English mace okay let's continue on now as I was saying I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart so what can we do I don't rightly know Charles and I just thought you should be aware maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Ah! You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. Oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza. The waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day, and... Saw two crosses outside, I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them, and shot them dead. And offered $10. Hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later.
This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So back to what you were saying. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. 